if you're seeming green surrounded by the beautiful mother nature the green grass it means i'm talking about none other than the super far country of nigeria the most successful or the country with the most world cup participation fifa women's world cup participation they are housed in a group b alongside one of the hosts australia the republic of ireland what debutants in this tournament and also current olympic champions at canada i mean if you know you know i have a lot of excitement bubbling in my heart because i'm talking about the super far country of nigeria i'm actually not a nigerian but they are our neighbors because i'm from cameroon nigeria is actually the most a country with the most participation even in group b because they are making it to the FIFA Women's World Cup for the ninth time. It's rather unfortunate that their start in this tournament hasn't been all favorable because in 26 games played, Nigeria has managed to win just four of them. In their last uh, participation in 2019, Nigeria won just one group game and that was against South Korea where they defeated them 2-0 and unfortunately lost to heavyweight Germany 3-0 in the knockout round. But I would say throughout the years, they've managed to reach the quarterfinals. That was way back in 1999. And Rashida Adibade, we have the likes of, you know, uh, Oshwala, Onome, that are out to say, we need to go past the knockouts like we did in 2019. And with the tournament larger this year with 32 teams, they are up for the win. And I think, I think they do have the squad to take on this challenge because one thing you know you want to know about Nigeria is whenever they are faced with really tough opponents they would come out they would give in their best and that is what they will be doing against the likes of obviously Australia uh, Republic of Ireland and Canada let's talk a little bit about these sides they are headed by Randy Waldrum who and the build up to this competition has however called out the Nigerian Football Federation for over seven months salary areas. He's not the only one that has been holding this Nigerian Football Federation by the neck as these players as well have been complaining of football areas and this is why I really want to know what exactly is wrong with federations because just few days back I was reading about Mali and how the women Eagles have been deprived of money and they're currently taking part in the qualifiers for the 2024 Olympics and the federation gave them just 1,000 francs no lodging no camping for them everybody has to return home giving them 1000 francs for transport and they were really pouring out their grievances so what exactly is one wrong with the nigerian football federation i've read tons of stories about these very nff you know holding the money for these badge bonuses and all the you know um and all the benefits by these women for these women to their in their pockets and not giving out for them but you don't necessarily see that when it comes to the super ego. So what exactly is wrong with the NFL? You guys should actually sort out this woman's problem because they are representing not just Nigeria, but they are representing the entire continent as a whole. And we are out to support them. Now, I believe Randy Walden, Randy Walden has actually prepared a very, very good side for this competition we have 40 years on a big actually she's going to you know right somewhere they're like oh she might be you know, if she scores obviously she has a lot of opportunities i think she has the experience she has a lot of experience and also she has she's been assisted by the likes of rashida ajiba the who i mentioned earlier and also oshola Aziza Toshwala, who plays for Barcelona. She has been a great, a, I mean, I can't really emphasize how great she's been with Barcelona, uh, scoring tons of goals in last season and the just ended season. And she might be creating records at the African side to call, score in three consecutive World Cups if she actually scores against Canada in the opener or even against the remaining group you know more contenders 
and I will be looking out for that. But I believe Nigeria has the experience, regardless of the fact that 10 out of their 23 women squad are actually making their debut in the FIFA Women's World Cup. I believe they have the right guidance. And then not only that, they have the right motivation because this team, I believe Onome will not want to leave the FIFA Women's World Cup without at least creating a record for herself and also for the squad. And Rashida Dajibade, sorry, uh, Aziza Toshola, who has been fantastic with Barcelona, will definitely want to replicate that form in Barcelona. Also with the, you know, Super Falcons, I'm sure she was really uh, disheartened after leaving the Women's Africa Cup of Nations due to injury. So I believe she's going to come back really strong and give us the, uh, the, the, the Aziza that we've been seeing in Barcelona. And one person I'm really looking out for is Rashida Dajibade. She's been a great side. I love her during the Women's Africa Cup of Nations and she's going to be a great force in this squad. Well, what do you think about the Super Falcons? I have had a great time talking about them and I hope you will be able to support them as well in this tournament. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.